Hi, I'm Savine Reddy, a group product manager in Azure Engineering. In this video, I'm going to explore the Synapse Knowledge Center. The Knowledge Center is part of Synapse Studio, and it's meant to accelerate the lives of all kinds of developers in Synapse. If you're new to Synapse, it'll be great for you because it'll let you easily kick the tires. If you're a more experienced Synapse user, then it lets you see some of the more advanced feature sets we have available inside the service. So let's get started. Now I'm looking at Synapse Studio and I'm looking at the home page. And there are four cards at the top of the home page. On the far right is one called Learn. This Learn card will take us directly to the Knowledge Center. As I click on the Knowledge Center, the thing to focus on is on the three cards at the bottom. One says Use Samples Immediately, one says Browse Gallery, and one says Tour Synapse Studio. Use Samples Immediately are the more kick the tires samples. There are three of them and they'll help you get started super fast. Browse Gallery is where you'll see the full list of sample code and sample data sets and templates. And Tour Synapse Studio is a very quick click by click examination of key points of interest inside Synapse Studio. We're gonna start with Use Samples Immediately. Once this loads, you'll see there are exactly three samples available. The first one lets you explore some sample data with Spark. The second one lets you explore some sample data with SQL. And the third one is all about doing a very common task in Synapse, which is creating an external table with SQL. We're going to focus on the middle one, which is querying data with SQL. I'll click on that card and then click Use Sample. And what happens is a SQL script is created immediately. Now the script itself has several queries. I'll just run the first one which does a select top 100 on a parquet file in blob storage. And as I click it, as we spin up the serverless SQL resources that are in the built-in pool, as you can see at the top, here's the results of the query. And that's great, it just immediately worked. And then you can scroll down through the rest of this code and highlight other queries and run them as well. So that was one of the fast samples to kick the tires. Let's close this and now let's learn also how do we get back to the Knowledge Center. Now I could go to the home page of course but also you might find it more convenient to go to the question mark and then click Knowledge Center here and then you're back at the Knowledge Center. Now we were looking at use samples immediately this time we're going to go to Browse Gallery. Again Browse Gallery is where I'll see the data sets and the sample code in the form of notebook and SQL scripts, and then templates for pipelines. So if we're thinking about looking at sample data, and maybe I'm lo looking at the uh, Bing COVID-19 data, that's what I want. I'll click on that and click continue. You'll see it shows me a preview of the data set with some explanation that'll help me understand what's in the data set and how it's been updated. I'll click add data set. Now this doesn't create a script, what this does is, under the, uh, the data hub, under linked, under sample data sets, you'll see we have now the Bing COVID-19 data. And from here, I can of course click on the three dots and create a new SQL script, or I can start a new notebook. So this is the Knowledge Center helping you if you're thinking about data first. What if you're thinking about code first, like you know you want to use a SQL script or you know you want to use a notebook? Well, let's get back to the Knowledge Center. Now, I'll go back to Browse Gallery, and now I'm interested in code. In this case, maybe I'm interested in notebooks, so I'll click here. Now, this gives me a list of samples that explore different notebook features. Maybe I'm interested in doing charting, so I'll click on the first one, which is called Charting in Synapse Notebook, and you can see this is a PySpark example. I'll click here, continue, and here's another preview of what a notebook will look like with some basic information about the notebook, and you can see some of the libraries that are used in the sample. Then I click Open Notebook. And now the notebook is in my Synapse Studio, and I can attach it to a Spark pool and start running it. So I hope you can see the Knowledge Center is a really easy way for you to see what you can do with Synapse. 